Welcome back in for the Blacksburg Buzz. Today we're going to talk about a new recruit for the Hokies women's basketball team. They just recently picked up Kate Sears out of Boone, North Carolina. So 5'10 guard from Watauga High School. She's a junior this year and with a bunch of different offers from some really nice programs. Getting her to Virginia Tech was definitely a tough ask, but Megan Duffy did it. She had been recruiting her at Marquette beforehand, which I'm sure helped push her over the edge. So, like I said, offers from Kansas, Purdue, Michigan, Wake Forest, Princeton, Marquette, Clemson, a lot to go around, but Kate Sears is going to be a Hokie. Good job for Coach Megan Duffy to pull in another talented one. She has done fantastic in recruiting and in the portal after just getting to Virginia Tech a couple months ago. She's only been there for, I want to say, about a month and a half, and she's been getting it done. This roster looks really good so far, and Sears, I think, is going to be a good addition in the 25-26 season. So looking at some of Sears' accolades, after finishing her junior year, she's already three-time All-State. She made the third team her freshman season, and then sophomore year, she went up one more to the second team, and then this past year, she was honored with the first team, so consistent improvement, and she's been a big player at Watauga High School. She's really getting it done. I believe they made it to the equivalent of the Final Four this year in the uh, postseason, so great work from her. Three-time Conference Player of the Year, NWC Tournament MVP. After just three seasons at Watauga, 1,851 points. She's made 202 three-pointers. An elite scorer. Sears is going to be a big addition to this crew, and I think once she gets acclimated and gets that next senior season under her belt next year, she could be a problem at the college level. She's pretty quick and crafty. She can do a lot with the ball in her hands, and that seems to be the way that Megan Duffy's building this group. A little bit different roster construction than how Kenny Brooks had it before. Now, before we get a little more into Kate Sears, I want to talk about today's video sponsor. Once again, it's Bet Online. Bet Online, it's your number one source for the NBA and NHL playoffs this season. Every stat, every matchup, and even live odds while the games are being played. When the game's over, head on over to our online casino and get in on a game of blackjack or poker or unwind with our over 150 slot games. Head over to the website today to get in on the action. Don't forget to use the promo code BELIEVE, that's B-L-E-A-V, for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online. The game starts here. So with Kate Sears, I mean, in the conference and at the state level, she is dominating North Carolina. Boone didn't know what hit him when Kate Sears came onto the scene. 23.5 points per game this year, 8.5 rebounds, 6.2 assists, 2.2 steals, 46, 33, 75 shooting splits. Now, those are really good numbers. Her shooting splits are a little bit down, but that's not out of the ordinary for high school players. A lot of times, once they get up to the college level, those numbers improve pretty quickly and they get acclimated. They just turn into better shooters very fast. So I wouldn't worry about that 46 number or the 75 number. I'm sure she'll be taking a ton of free throws and probably with you know a, a high caliber Hokies team, I think that field goal percentage should bump up as well. But those numbers themselves, they look fantastic. Obviously, she really excels 
as a point on the scoring front, but good rebounding numbers. She's solid with dishing the ball, getting it to her teammates with 6.2 assists, and then 2.2 steals. She's got active hands on defense. She's trying to make plays whenever possible and just getting a piece of it and poking balls away. Kate Sears going to look good on both ends of the court, I believe. And then when it comes to the playoffs, one thing with the best players is they always find a way to take it up to the next level. They, they're they always you know, running 100%, but once the playoffs come around, they bump it up to 110. They bump it up to 120, and Kate Sears does that. This season in the playoffs, she bumped up her 23.5 points per game to 30.6. Rebounds went up. About two and a half to eleven assists bumped up to six point six and one point eight steals still. So she's holding some of her numbers consistent and really getting up with the points. That's about seven more points per game and about two and a half more rebounds. So when it comes to the playoffs, when it comes to high pressure moments, she is there and she is performing. Kate Sears isn't afraid of the big moments with the ball in her hands, and that's going to be incredibly important when the Hokies get to the postseason, when they make it into the ACC tournament. They're going to need someone down the stretch who's comfortable in those high-pressure environments and is going to be able to perform and keep her team in check as they continue through the playoffs. So I think Kate Sears should be solid in that area. Now, what she does really well is a solid point guard. She's great with the ball in her hands. That's where she really stands out on the court, but she can play the two as well. And I think when it comes to screens and getting open shots, she could perform well for Tech and fit in nicely with the lineup. But clearly, when she's got the ball in her hands, that's when she's at her very best. She's pretty quick and crafty in transition. So when the Hokies get running, I think she's going to be an option to get the ball into her excel there. Because when it comes to the transition game and the Hokies roster this year, I feel like they're a little bit faster than they were. They're certainly more guard heavy and wing heavy rather than getting down low in the post so this could play well into Kate Sears's game is that's really what she does best is running the court moving in the half court offense with her speed with her agility a nice step back she's good at driving and getting into the paint making tough shots down there when it comes to how she's going to fit in with this offense, like I said, I think transition game is going to be big for her. Virginia Tech, with this guard-heavy lineup, they've got a lot more speed, and I think Megan Duffy is going to give them room and the leeway to just run, to get this high-motor offense moving, always be motioning in the half court, and when you get into full-court transition game, just run it up the floor, get it up there quick. You can probably outrun a lot of opponents, and when you can't, I think the speed of this offense is really going to carry them over the top. They've got some great shooters all around, and then with the speed to drive in the lane and a couple of nice forwards, there's a lot of different options and different ways they can play this game. But obviously... A big difference in how they've looked over the last probably five years or so with Duffy coming in. It looks strong, but just a different type of team. It's really hard when with Liz Kitley graduating and Clara Streck transferring. You can't you can't go back to the post game like you did. You're losing a all-time great generational talent in Liz Kitley. So obviously going back to the post game the same way you did 
really isn't possible. You can't pull players like Liz Kitley just every day. You can't recruit them. That's not going to happen. So I like her move here to move towards a more guard-heavy lineup, a quicker lineup, and trying to play into some different strengths of this team. And obviously, Clara Strack, we felt like she had potential to get up to where Liz Kitley was. She'll have a couple of years to try and build up to that, but you don't get huge generational bigs like that just every day. And playing into the strengths of a new team, I think it's really important and a good move from Coach Megan Duffy. So with this team now, it's looking very, very different than it was. And a lot of new faces around the crew as well. So it's going to be interesting to see how a new squad meshes in a pretty young squad as well. So at this point, when you look at the guard position, there's already five players in there for the 25-26 season, four for the 24-25 season. So by the time Kate Sears gets to Virginia Tech, we're going to have Carly Wenzel, who will be a redshirt junior, Samaya Suffren, will be a junior, Mackenzie Nelson, a redshirt sophomore, Layla Wells, a sophomore, and then Kate Sears will be a freshman in the 25-26 season. Next year, we've got the final year of Matilda X. She'll be running out of eligibility in 25-26. Our light-out shooter from deep, Matilda Eck, just fantastic when it comes to getting shots up and draining them she makes everything it feels like and then Lonnie White also on the wing she'll be a senior in the 25-26 season then in our wing forwards uh Karis Baker who will be a junior when Kate Sears rolls around I feel like Baker plays a lot more of the wing than she does the forward and Kale Peterson a sophomore at that time Rose Mishaw will be out of eligibility, but she'll be back in 24-25 for her senior year, plays the forward. Maya Hazelton will be a sophomore in 25-26, and then Ramia White will be a sophomore in 25-26 as well. So this 24-25 season feels like we've got a lot of young talent on this roster. There will be two seniors in Eck and Mishaw, and then the next oldest player would be Lonnie White, a junior, and after that, you're looking at redshirt sophomore Carly Wenzel, so a pretty young crew all around, just two seniors and one junior, so not just a young, young group here for the Hokies, and a guard speed heavy group as well. A lot of foot speed on this crew. The guard position definitely a lot shorter than it has been just height-wise. Generally speaking, guards sitting at or below the 5'9", five, 5'8", five, height. Uh, Carly Wenzel, the taller one at 6' foot even, but a little bit shorter across the board at the guard position and then when you move into the bigs, Rose Mishaw at 6'2", Karis Baker at 6'2", uh, Maya Hazelton is 6'4", so one of our taller players, and Ramia White, the lone center on the crew, 6'5". So a shorter group all around, but could be a quicker group, and not necessarily a bad thing, but just a different style of play. Virginia Tech is going to have to excel on the court in a different way, in a more Georgia Amor-esque fashion. They're going to have to run and gun, move quick in transition, be crafty. They won't have a Liz Kitley or a Clara Strack to dish to down low, but there will be Ramia White down there. So definitely a lot of options with Rose Mishaw coming back, with Matilda Eck coming back. Good retention in the portal from Duffy to keep some of the big minute players who really helped mold this team into what it was. Weren't able to keep the stars, obviously, with K 
Kitley graduating, Strack transferring, Amor transferring, and a few others, I believe. But nonetheless, you kept a lot of core pieces, a lot of glue pieces, and I think you've got a good crew going into 24-25, and Duffy getting started on her 25-26 commitments well with Kate Sears. She's one of, I want to say, the top 100 or so players on ESPN's rankings for that commitment year. So definitely a good ad for Megan Duffy and excited to see what she builds over the next several seasons because so far with just a couple months at the helm, I think she's done really well at constructing this roster, at retaining the talent that was already there, and just looking ahead to the future and getting a group that seems to be able to mesh well and looks like they could play well together on the court and really do some great things, keep making runs into the NCAA tournament and hopefully at one point get really deep into the tournament once again. You know, the Hokies with the final four run just recently, not last year, but the year before. And if she can get Virginia Tech back anywhere close to that, I think that would be outstanding for Megan Duffy. So a good lineup for Virginia Tech for the next two years. They're going to be an exciting team to watch once again. And Megan Duffy doing a fantastic job pulling together players from across the country and really making this team her own.